Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to add frequently bought together feature on your WooCommerce website. We will use two different types of plugins to add frequently bought together on your website. The first plugin will be a free plugin. Definitely, there are some limitations to the free plugin. And the second plugin will be a paid plugin. So this is the example of frequently bought together. And this one is created using a paid plugin. When they buy these products together, they will get an additional discount of let's say 10% or 20%. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WooCommerce website. And we are going to start with the installation of the free plugin for the frequently bought together feature on your WooCommerce website. So go to plugins and then go to add new. Here in the search box, look for WooCommerce frequently bought. So type in WooCommerce frequently bought. Now here you will see different plugins. So this is one of the plugin YITH. This is a free version of YITH WooCommerce frequently brought together plugin. And this one is WPC frequently bought together for WooCommerce. So we are going to use this free plugin. So click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin has been activated and you will see it listed here. So this is the option to change the settings of this plugin. So click on settings. So these are the basic settings of this plugin. So we will go through these settings later. Now let's go to products. Let me open all products. Let's go to this one. This one, let's see how does this look first. So this is a simple product. And this is the basic layout of this product. Now let's go to edit section of this product. All right, so you can see that these are the basic settings. Let me have only the regular price. We are not going to set up any sale price for this one. Now here you will see the option bought together, click on it. So here is the option where you can add the products. So let's search for t-shirt. So I'm going to look for another t-shirt that we are going to attach or we are going to link with this particular product. So let's use this one. Add that, you will see that product listed here. So I'm going to look for another t-shirt. Okay, so we are going to add three t-shirts. All right, so you can see that these are the basic pricing. 250, 250, 350, these are the pricing. Now, if you want to set up any discount when you buy this together, you can set up the discount. So I want to set up 10% discount. So the price of this product will be 90% when they buy it together. Ultimately, we are giving 10% discount. So 90% will be the price of this product when you link that product to this particular product. Now add separately. So if enabled, the associated products will be added as separate items and stay unaffected from the main product. Their price will change back to the original. Okay, so we are not going to make any changes here. Selecting method, multiple selection or single selection. Choose one only. So I'm going to set it to multiple selection and discount. How much discount do you want to offer? on the original product, so 10% discount. Do not mention it 90. So it will be 10% discount. And this is 90% is the price of that particular product for this t-shirt. So this is not the discount. This will be the price of that particular product. Okay, now checked all by default. So by default, we are going to check all the products. Custom quantity. So you can allow customer to make changes to the number of products. So I'm going to set to one and maximum three okay so one to three so they will not be able to purchase more than three items now about the text let's say so this will be the text shown about the frequently bought together message so let's say updated okay now let's go back to the page 
and let's refresh this product now here you will see all the options frequently bought together and this is the message buy together for extra 10% discount so here was the message this was the message okay now you will see the products that we have added as bought together so the price will be actual price is 250 and 10% discount it will be 225 same with this one also same with this one also so all the four products will get 10% discount and the card price will be 765 instead of 990 so we have added 10% discount here now we can uncheck this one and you will see that the 10% discount is still there you can uncheck this one also and uncheck this one also so customer will be able to buy only one product and the price will become go back to the original 250 so there will not be any 10% discount if I check this one you will see the 10% discount here and the price comes to 225 and this one also 225 now here customer will be able to change the number of quantity not more than three because we have set the minimum and maximum number of products so let me add these products so total we have four products okay now let me add to cart okay these are the four products 220 225 225 so this is the total pricing all right now these are the simple products that we have added as bought together let's try adding a variable product so we have one variable product so let me search for the variable product okay now this is one of the variable product that we have on this website and you will not be able to select a variable product as frequently bought together with this free version of this plugin so this is the limitation of this free version of the plugin you will be able to select only the simple products as frequently bought together list all right now let's go back to the settings of this page now here you will see different settings so right now list is shown here you can change the position of the frequently bought together here you can also select upsells product to be shown as frequently bought together with extra discount layout layout this is a default layout the position above the add to cart button or you can select under add to cart button under title these are the different position where you can show these frequently bought together so let me try another one let's try under meta and let's save the changes now let's go back and refresh this page all right so you will see that the add to cart button has moved up now let's change this to under summary okay now add to cart button main products button or you can also have separate buttons so let me select separate buttons and there are different other settings that you can play with now let me save the changes let's go back to the page and refresh the page okay now the position of the bot together has been changed so this is the new position and you will see separate button for add to cart so this is for the single product and this is for frequently bought together products let's move on to the paid plugin for frequently bought together so let me go back to plugins and disable this one the free one all right now let's go back to plugins and then go to add new we are going to upload a paid plugin for frequently bought together feature so the name of the plugin is yith woocommerce frequently bought together plugin and the pricing of this plugin is $69.99 per year. I'll give you the link in the description box. You can check the link and you can check all the features of this paid plugin. So let me go back to the plugins and upload the plugin. I already have this plugin downloaded. Install now. Now click on activate plugin. So the plugin has been activated and you will see the option here. So this is the button for the settings of this particular plugin click on settings okay so these are the styles and other settings of this plugin okay, now let's go back to the product now let me refresh this product so we are using the same product okay now here you will see this option frequently bought together so 
so this is the option for the paid plugin click on it now here you will see different types of products that you can use use related or you can use cross sales or use up sales or you can also choose your own product so i'm going to choose my own product so we are going to choose the same products that we used before you can simply type in some keywords and it will show the list of those products you can select the products then so these are the three products that i have listed for the frequently bought together so now i'm going to add one more product which will be a variable product so we are using a paid plugin and let's see if we can choose the variable product in the list so i have one variable product okay, now here you will see this is one of the variable product i'm going to select this one okay i'm able to select this one now this is the option all selected products show all selected products okay now show products unchecked let's check it yes and extra text okay now this is the option apply or discount on linked products yes how much discount i want to set up 10 percent extra discount apply conditions to discount so apply discount only if the user choose at least two products or apply discount only if the user spend that much amount of money so i'm going to disable this one for now okay so these are the simple settings i'm going to update it now let's go back to the product and refresh it so when i refresh you will see this particular product and here is the option frequently bought together the option you can see all the products are listed here okay if i select this one now let's say this is the main product and we have got this main product here so i'm going to check this one and you will see the image of this product now this is the variable product let me do it later so i'm going to select this one also this one also so i have added three products here so this is the variable shirt you will not be able to check this box immediately so you need to go ahead and check the variation of this product so click on this view options and from here you can select the variation of that product and click on add to product okay so you will be able to select the variable product and now here you can see we have added four products in the cart and this is the actual price and this is the price after the discount 10 percent discount so you can see that save 107.50 rupees as a discount so this is the 10 percent discount that customer will get when they buy these four products at the same time so you can also uncheck if you do not want anyone you can remove and you will see that you can still get 10 percent discount here so let me uncheck one more and still 10 percent discount is there and if i uncheck the last one 10 percent and let's remove all of them and use the only main product it already has a 10 percent discount here so this is the final price and they will need to buy one more product so let me go back to the frequently bought together and let's add condition here so at least one product should be there let's update it now let me clear the cache okay now select the main product now you will see that there is no discount because there is only one at least they will need to purchase at least one product from this frequently bought together so this is the condition that we have applied now let me add one more product here and now you will see that there is a 50 rupees discount that is 10 percent discount when they select one of these frequently bought together products so this is the condition that we have applied to this feature using paid plugin you will be able to add variable products also so these are the basic settings where you want to show the frequently bought together products and these are the label and style settings of this plugin. 
So this is how you can use the frequently bought together feature using a free plugin as well as a paid plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.